Well, hey, Indianapolis Motor Speedway fans, Doug Bowles with you again for another episode of Behind the Bricks. My voice today, I just came from the parade. I was loud there, I'm losing it a bit, but I'm excited to show you what you see on the TV broadcast. We're gonna show you all the work that goes into making that NBC Indy 500 broadcast so special. And it actually starts today, the day before the Indianapolis 500, when we do a full run through. So come with us, look behind the scenes at how that NBC broadcast gets to your television. So I'm not kidding when I say everybody rehearses. Mike Tirico is down here. Mike, how important is the rehearsal to make sure tomorrow's perfect? It is so important because the timing has to be just right in our broadcast, our interviews on commercials, and the show that's going on here for the 300 plus thousand. So it's got to be down to the second. So I don't, I'm not a great practice guy. This is the day that you're out in Iverson. It's practice. It's not a game, but it's practice and it matters. It does matter even to Mike Tirico. So we're right in what is normally the PA booth, and today we're getting ready for race day tomorrow. So the team in here is actually going through a full rehearsal of the pre-race, the stuff you see on NBC, and how we do it here, so we have to coordinate those. So you have Frank and Jessica over here, they're working on the overall schedule, producing it. You have Alan, obviously, you hear his voice on the PA, and then Dan Skyver, who is our boots on the ground that really coordinates a lot of the stuff. It all sort of starts right here. I'm being quiet, because these guys are working. Ladies and gentlemen, now taking a lap around the speedway are the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department Motorcycle Drill Team. So tomorrow, this room will be full of race car drivers, but today, during rehearsal, it's full of people acting like race car drivers. So each one of them has, this is Ed Carpenter, by the way, nice Hello, to meet Ed. I'm a race car driver. So they will actually go through the process just like what will happen on race day. So everybody will go through in their rows as they get announced. We do exactly as it's going to be on the NBC broadcast, but this is today the starting field for the 107th running of the Indy 500. <laughs> All right, first row, go ahead, walk together, walk together. And now, the drivers for the 107th running of the Indianapolis 500 presented by Gamebridge. So I'm now down in pit lane, really close here in the Yard of Bricks. Let's go up on this temporary stage here that everybody builds. This stage gets dismantled and removed immediately as soon as pre-race is over. But Ryan Hollander, who normally is doing ticketing and data for us, has been doing this for about 15 years. How important is this rehearsal to making sure we get it right on race day? This is the fun stuff. We love doing this. We run through it with NBC minute by minute today. And then we, by the time we get to tomorrow, we're in great shape. So Ryan is down here, walks through it today with all of those stand-ins you saw earlier, and then he does it with all the celebs and the drivers who do it real time tomorrow. It's Elio Castro Neves. So this is the platform right here, start finish line in the middle of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway where all the pre-race takes place. If you're one of the 325,000 people here or if you're the millions at home, it all starts right here. But it starts with people like this. It's an entire show on the day before the Indy 500, so the entire show on Indy 500 day is perfect.